once upon a time, it was time for library make. Of the five early literacy practices recommended to parents, talking, singing, reading, writing, and playing, playing is definitely my favorite. Through creative play, children can explore the world in a safe space, and through playing pretend, children can practice telling stories. The ability to tell stories, aka narrative skills, is an essential pre-literacy skill, so in this video I'll show you a cool, easy way to have your child pretending and telling stories in no time. In this video, I'll show you how to make a mini puppet stage and some simple puppets using items you already have at home. For this craft, you'll need a shoe box, the bigger the better, white paper or cardstock, toothpicks, popsicle sticks, or small wooden skewers, glue or tape, markers, a black sharpie, scissors, and a stapler and a box cutter, which are both optional. Let's get crafting. First, draw a large square on the bottom of your shoe box and cut it out. Use a box cutter if you have one. This part should definitely be done by an adult. Next, decorate the box, which will be your puppet stage. This can be as simple or as decorated as you like. It's totally optional. I added cardboard cutouts and made a little stage curtain using a wooden skewer and some scrap fabric. Now it's time to make some puppets. Find pictures that would make for good story characters. I found mine by searching for storybook and fairy tale clip art sets online. Print out the pictures on cardstock if you have it, then cut them out. Tape or glue your pictures to the toothpicks or popsicle sticks. If you're using toothpicks and have a flat scrap of styrofoam lying around, add it to the bottom of your puppet stage so the puppets can be stuck and posed in the foam. Voila! You're ready for play! To get started, try playing together. Using your puppets and stage, tell stories to your child, tell stories with your child, and let them tell stories to you. By participating in their play, you're setting an example and letting them know that stories are important. What's important to you will be important to them, and that's a great step towards knowing the importance of reading. And they all played happily ever after. Happy making! This has been an episode of Library Make, a production of the Plano Public Library. If you'd like written instructions for this craft, click the link in the description box below for a PDF file. For more information, you can check us out at our blog, kidsbrainplano.org. For more information on what's going on at your Plano Public Library, go to planolibrary.org. Thanks for watching!